I can't imagine a young mother family working and managing breast cancer. When they said a minimum of 10 treatments and I have to drive an hour to get here in heavy traffic, I thought, there is no way in the world I want to do that. I want to get it, get through it, I want to get over it, and this will be my one big contribution to mankind. I'm doing it. I came to get my yearly mammogram, which I have had for decades, every year. And uh, so they called me after the mammogram and said, you need to come back. And so I thought, who would think at 81? But yes, it was stage one. I don't know of anyone in my family that had cancer. When I heard about the single dose radiation treatment, I liked that idea. I wanted it to be quick. I wanted it to be most effective. And of course, they told me it would be a large dose. And I thought, well, I, I'm still going for that rather than repeatedly having radiation in smaller doses. After the treatment, I felt perfectly normal. The research is so important. So I'm in the right place. There's no question about that. The fact that she's participated in a trial like this, it's a gift that Ms. Gibson is giving to the medical community, but hopefully a gift that she's also giving back to humanity. So there's been trials in Europe looking at intraoperative radiation, which is essentially a single dose of radiation at the time of surgery where they will bring this specialized radiation machine into the operating room and then deliver a large dose of radiation. We are trying to take that concept and make it more accessible to the general radiation oncology public. Um, and we are, we are using the CyberKnife, which is a robotic radiation machine. It's a stereotactic robotic radiation machine. And essentially it can treat to very focal points. And so we are doing the same thing, but we're doing it after surgeries. We did have a previous trial on the cyber knife that was a five treatment trial. When I hear knife, I think, ugh, cutting. It's not. It's more like a laser beam, and it went straight to the area where the stage one cancer was removed. And this is just a godsend. I think it's a wonderful thing. And I just hope the study takes off is finished and becomes routine.